Hello and welcome. This video has came about because when I was testing my gaming laptop, uh, I noticed a few things that were a bit awry. The temperatures that I was seeing it was a very high and there also appeared to be some thermal throttling going on with the CPU and the GPU. So I've run 3D Mark and we've got a score of 1456 which is fairly respectable but when you look into it you can see that the GPU and CPU is running fairly hot and both chips appear to be thermal throttling. This is particularly evident in the physics test in 3D Mark. So Whenever you refurbish or refresh a laptop, the first step is always to ground yourself and then remove the battery. You don't want to be doing any work on this with the battery still plugged in. Remove all the external panels so you can get a clear view of all the components. Once we've done that, we're then going to go ahead and remove the fan enclosure. Uh, we're doing this because we've got to check for dust buildup. Quite often, thermal problems can simply be attributed to a large amount of dust buildup. But as you can see in this case, there's not that much dust there. So this is leading me to believe that it's actually more to do with the thermal interface material since it's three or four years old at this point. But anyway, give everything you can a good clean up. Try to remove as much dust as you can. That can only help going forward. And once you've done that, we're going to remove the heatsink. Now, like most laptops, this particular laptop, it's got one heatsink for both the CPU and GPU. So we're going to loosen all the screws. And then to remove the heatsink, we want to first of all gently wiggle it to try and separate that old thermal interface material from the top of the chips and then once you get a bit of give you should be able to simply lift it off. So now we can see the CPU is the green chip on the right and the GPU on the left and like I suspected the thermal interface material it's basically turned to sort of cement or dust. It's probably not doing very much at this point. So we are going to push on and start to remove the old thermal interface material. Now I like to use Q-tips or cotton buds and isopropyl alcohol. If you can get anything above 70% that's generally good enough. And we want to gently try and remove it from the top of the CPU and the GPU. Now, unlike your desktop CPU, you'll probably notice that this one here is no lid on it. So we want to be particularly careful when we're dealing with that. It is quite a delicate part. After we've removed the thermal interface material, what we're looking for is a glass or mirror-like surface on the top. In this particular laptop, the GPU is surrounded by a sort of shroud, uh, which will stop any excess thermal interface material interfering with the components next to it. So we want to make sure that any pieces of thermal interface material that might have flaked off while we're cleaning it is removed, and then we can move on to the heatsink. Now, just like the chips, I've been using Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol, and you just want to get all that old, crusty thermal interface material off. You're not going to get a glass-like sheen on this, but you can judge for yourself when you've taken it all off. The next step is to apply new thermal grease. Now, on the GPU, you can be pretty liberal with the amount you use. On the CPU, you want to be a bit more restricted. What I've shown here is probably slightly too much, but at the end of the day, it's not going to matter that much. It's just got to be a bit harder to clean it next time. When we're happy with that, we want to refit the heatsink and screw it down in a cross pattern, just to evenly distribute the forces when we're screwing it down. Finally, we want to refit any items that we may have removed prior to this. This includes things like the fan shrouds and, of course, the backing plate and battery. Once we've done that, we've basically refreshed our laptop. We can boot it up and then we can see if it has made a difference. 
as you can see, in 3D Mark, we've increased our score by 6%. Now, that is simply by replacing the thermal interface material, but it's in the temperatures that we see the real difference. The GPU temperature is now 67 degrees instead of 84, and the CPU is down to 58 instead of 68. And if we look at the physics test, there's no thermal throttling going on. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tear down and refresh of this laptop. If you've liked it or found it useful, hit that like and subscribe buttons. If not, you can leave a comment and hit that thumbs down, and I hope to see you again next time.